Well, hey there, everybody. I hope you're doing awesome, and welcome to this Sunday night edition of Live with Matt. <laughs> really glad that you're here. Please come on and uh, introduce yourself wherever you are in the world. I've already been seeing that we've got folks from all over the world that are here uh, in the comments that are uh, letting us know where they're from and and all that sort of thing, what kind of art you do. Maybe if this is your first time coming on, uh, we are super, super excited uh, to see you. There's Lynette, and there's Lynn Cecio. Hey, Lynn. Good to see you, man. Hope everything's well in New York. And uh, there's David Rawlings. Oh, my gosh, from South Australia. What a great author David is. And Jeremiah. Oh, guys are winning tonight. Guys are winning. Karen and Trisha. Oh, here comes everybody. Karen and Deborah and uh, J.M. Hanson, all the way from Wyoming. And Jason there in Carbondale and Sherry and Sherry and Camille and Joan. And hey, guys. Awesome. Awesome. Come on in. Glad you're here. Thanks for all you UK folks that are staying up tonight. <laughs> I know it's like one o'clock in the morning over there. So I'm, I'm super uh, blessed that you would come on and, and be with us tonight. Wherever you are in the world, thank you for, for doing that. I hope you got the email today and um, that lets you know where we'd be tonight and, and what I'm going to be talking on and that sort of thing. If you don't get our emails, make sure to go to matttommymentoring.com and you can sign up uh, or you can sign up on our um, our Facebook page either way. But regardless, really, really glad uh, that you're here. All right. Well, um, tonight's going to be interactive. I hope you like that because I love doing things that are interactive here in your heart, uh, getting to teach some things that I think are really important. And so uh, usually how we do this kind of stuff, if this is your first time, is I'm going to be sharing some things tonight. And uh, then at the end, I'm going to save a few minutes uh, toward the end. We don't have a set time frame, but um, usually we go about an hour or so, but um, I'll save some time at the end to answer any questions that you've got about this topic in particular and that sort of thing. So be sure to stay with me uh, to the end. Uh, and if you want to do a question, I'll tell you this again, but you can just do capital letters, question, colon, and then, uh, you know, put your question there, a brief one sentence question. All right. And um, but we'll do that at the very end tonight uh, and that sort of thing. So. All right. Well, cool. Uh, glad to see everybody coming on. If you have any uh, issues tonight during the call, Cherie is on, who is our uh, social media community manager um, in our mentoring program. And uh, she also helps out on the page here. So if you uh, you can see, uh, just tag Cherie and ask her a question if you if you need anything along the way. But uh, but we're going to get rolling. All right. If this is your first time tonight, you've never been on a live Q&A live call with me or whatever it is. Let me know. I want to I want to recognize you and just say hello and uh, and that sort of thing. I love it when when we have first time people. And uh, then also, I'd love to know this. All right, if you are, because uh, the whole the whole point of tonight is people that want to start or grow their art business. All right, if you are somebody that um, wants to start their art business. You've been kind of playing around as a hobby and that sort of thing, but you're thinking like, this is the time. This is the year. Like right now, I've been seeing everybody. I've been hearing Matt talking about how everybody's having such incredible years, selling their art, selling their art courses, that sort of thing. If that's you, all right, if you're a starter, you're like, I'm ready to start. All right. I've not, I've never done this before. I'm, I'm brand new. I want you to put start, all right, in the chat. All right. So just put start and um, that'd be awesome. As you're doing that, I'm going to see some some first time people. There's Arlie. Hey, Arlie, welcome. There's a uh, there's Jane, first time. There's Joan, first time. Awesome. Who else? There's a uh, love. There's Caitlin or uh, sorry, Kate Catlin. There you go. Awesome. Oh, and Kat's on the uh, Kate's on the waiting list. Kate. <laughs> I bet you get that all the time. Is it Kate or Kat? Kate, Caitlin or Catlin? Oh, oh my gosh. That's like me with Matt. Is your name Matt or Tommy? Which one? I don't know. All right. Yeah. Look at all these starts. Starter, starter, starter. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Yeah. You know, starting is a great place to be. We're going to talk about some of the struggles with that tonight. All right. And um, so if you are somebody that's starting out, you're like a brand newbie. Uh, to all this, do not worry. All right. We're, we're glad that you're here. Now, the other side of this call tonight and this, this broadcast, if you are somebody that is, Hey, I've been doing my art for a while. I've actually been selling 
a little bit, maybe a lot of it, all right? <laughs> and you're ready to grow your art business either to a part-time, serious part-time, full-time, uh, you know, business, whatever you're looking for, whatever that looks like for you. And I say that because, you know, if you're retired and you're just looking to make, you know, four or 500 extra dollars a month to supplement your income, that's awesome. Or if you're in the middle of life raising kids and you're like, I need this to be my income. You know, this is what I feel like God's put on my heart. Um, I want to do that. So wherever you are in that, if you're here tonight and you're somebody that's ready to grow, all right, grow your art business, whatever that looks like, put grow, all right, in the chat. And uh, I want to see some of those. There's there's AS, artist, car ooh, artist carpenter. I love that. Man, glad you're here. More craftsmen. Woo! <laughs> I love it. I love it. More craftsmen. All right. Let's see who there's, there's, uh, let's see. There's Jeremiah saying grow. Awesome. Tony grow. Jeff grow. Awesome. Awesome. Glad you guys are here. Yeah. We're yeah, a lot of growers too. So we got a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of it looks like about half and half tonight. A lot of people that are wanting to grow. A lot of people that are wanting to start that sort of thing. I wanted to start tonight um, in a little bit of an interesting place. Um, I was asking the Lord where to start uh, with this tonight. And so um, I wanted to start with the scripture. And let me just say all of this, all right, whether again, whether you're wanting to start your art business from the ground up, whether you're wanting to grow it uh, to the next level and everything, and you're tired of spinning your wheels, trying to figure out all the things to focus on. I want to try to help to give you a little bit of direction tonight in the time that we have, knowing that we can't do everything tonight in a, in a one hour uh, Facebook live, we're going to try to start giving you some context tonight. All right. For what this looks like. And you know, there's an interesting scripture uh, in John. If you've got your Bible, you don't have to, but um, if you've got your Bible, you can look up John 1 14. And in John 1, 14, it's interesting. It's, this is, you know, where the Bible's talking about, you know, uh, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was with God and the word was the light and the light was the light of men. And I mean, all that beautiful scripture about the incarnation of Jesus coming into the earth and that sort of thing. Verse 14 is really interesting and it kind of sets up what I want to talk about tonight in this concept of uh, harmonious opposites. All right. This this divine tension that we live in that is really a kingdom principle. All right. And it says this. I'm going to I'm going to pull it up on my on my Bible gateway here. But uh, this is the. Um, yeah, we can just read the American Standard right here. Here's a here's one that says. Um, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten from the father, the only begotten son. Right. Jesus full of grace and truth. So I love this because when Jesus came to the earth, all right, when the son of God, all right, was made incarnate, that is the word became flesh, all right, tangible, all right. It says that when that happened, we saw his glory and he was full of two things, grace and truth. Now, if you have studied theology at all, and you've, it, it, you've even thought about this at all, there are a lot of what we would think about as um, opposites, all right, in the, in, the, in the Word of God, in the way that we live our life, in, uh, in just the, the complication and, and complexities of life, all right? And one of these that, that theologians, you know, talk a lot about is grace and truth. How can you have truth and have grace at the same time? How can something be totally true? And yet, how can there be this empowering grace that, that covers a multitude of sin? How can you have both <laughs> at the same time? And yet, isn't that the beautiful thing, the mystery of the gospel, right? That when Jesus came to the earth, what? He was full of grace and truth, all right? He held in I would say divine tension in a good way, not in a tension like I'm mad, but in a in a tension like like a, a magnetic tension almost, holding these things that were both listen that were both necessary 
to reveal the glory of God as he became incarnate on the earth. Grace and truth. Isn't that interesting? Now, if you take that concept a little further, understanding that there are things in our life, all right, that are these harmonious opposites, in order for us to reveal the glory of God, in order for us to walk in the fullness, listen now, of, of who God's called us to be, we've got to hold things. There may be things that we don't fully understand, yet we've got to hold them in tension. Why? In order to mature and in order to reveal the glory of God through our life. Isn't that cool? All right. Now, one of those things I think we see uh, from an artist's perspective, if you've heard me ever talk before, you know that I I have taught a lot, even my second book, uh, Creativity According to the Kingdom, even in my first book, Unlocking the Heart of the Artist, and Cre Created to Thrive. We talk a lot about this concept in Exodus 31 of being what? Filled and skilled. <laughs> But I just want to be filled with the, with the presence of God. I just want to go for it. I just want to be an artist. I just want to express myself and let God work it out. You know, <laughs> we love that, right? I mean, how many of you love that? We love that. And at the same time, there is this, this balance that's required, what? To reveal the fullness of what God wants to do in and through our life, which is to be filled with the Spirit of God. And the Bible says in Exodus 31, Bezalel was skilled in every manner of workmanship, right? So there's this idea that, yes, we need the fullness and the infilling, the ongoing infilling of the presence of God in our life. And at the same time, we need to be pressing into skill development in order to what? In order to enlarge our capacity to flow with the presence of God in the, in the context of our art and in the context of what we're doing creatively. That's a, for many people, that's a, a divine tension that is not, not always comfortable. It's a little challenging sometimes. All right. How many of you would say tonight that as you're, as you're thinking about this, all right, you're like, yeah, I've, I've, I've sensed this challenge before this, the tension of grace and truth in my life, righteousness and uh, justice you know, coming together, all right, mercy and mercy and justice coming together. Um, those those divine tensions that filled and skilled, that's a real divine tension that we hold. And yet, when we learn to hold it by the grace of God, all of a sudden, our capacity enlarges, God's glory gets revealed to our life, and we get to continue to progress in the fullness of, of the kingdom, all right? I see so many of you say, yes, 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 that, yeah, we all felt that. And that's a that's a normal part. That's a normal part of the uh, the growing up process, if you will, <laughs> in the kingdom. All right, we're we're holding these things uh, in tension. All right. Now, if we don't hold them, there can uh, and, and again, I'm using that word in a uh, in a good word in, in a good way. All right, kind of a a, a, a tensioned balance. Okay. If we don't hold them in tension, one of the things that can happen is we go off the rails. Again, I've said this about being filled for many years. Um, if you feel in two wings of a plane, you quickly in a circle. But with things, all right, they will uh, end. All right, that's super duper duper important, right? Now, here is uh, the next the next thing that is really I want to talk about uh, really importantly tonight. Right? Um, now, somebody said I'm having bad sound issues. I want to like I'll be like, what is going on? I can't believe this. I'm going to look over here and see. Um, Let me see, let me see, let me see. Da, 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 da. I'm going to come over here and check real quick. And we're going to hope that, yeah, I'm like, 
looks like the internet. Let's see, I'm going to sit here and talk normally, all right? Let's, uh, let's see if we can bring it up here, all right? We're going to try it. No, this, this is, I don't know what the deal is. Let me ask Tanya. What is this? <laughs> because this is all fun with, um, with internet, right? We're trying to figure it out. We're trying to figure it out. We're trying to figure it out. Well, somebody says, is your internet too slow? Actually, it's like, I'm at like, on fast internet. Um, let's see here. All right, guys, I'm trying, I'm trying. Huh. Okay, what I do is I want to test him. We'll see. I don't know, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna try to hold on just a little bit. Let's see here. Somebody said, turn off your antivirus. There's no antivirus. I have a Mac. We don't have antivirus. <laughs> this is so crazy. Let's see here. Huh. Is it better now? Let me see. Is it better now? If you can hear me better now, let's see. Better, better, yes, yes. Is it better? Is it better? Clearing up, somebody said, clearing up. It may have been, it may have been the Cameron factor. You never know. You never know. <laughs> We're trying. Is it better? Is it better, y'all? Yay. Everybody says it's better. Yay. Hallelujah. All right. I'm pedaling harder. That's right. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> David said, I'm pedaling harder, pedal harder. I know, right? That's the way it feels sometimes. That's the way it feels sometimes. All right. Now I can't find David's comment to take it off the screen. Oh, no. Okay, great. All right, cool. Yay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, cool. It might have been, I'm just going to say, guys, it might have been, uh, been the Cameron factor upstairs, you know, the streaming teenager. You never know. So we love him, but sometimes the internet goes wild, all right? So we were talking about, all right, harmonious opposites and this whole idea of holding things in tension, all right? This is so, so, so um, important, all right? One of the things that, um, that as we are wanting to either start or grow our art business, which is, again, the whole focus of tonight's call, all right, is all about either starting uh, or growing your art business. One of the harmonious opposites that a lot of people really struggle with, all right, is this idea of being a creative and being an entrepreneur at the same time, all right? That in order for us to get our work out there as artists, to have the impact that we want in the world, to share the message that God's given us through our art and that sort of thing, we realize that we've got to both create great art under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and at the same time create businesses that will allow us to take that art to the marketplace, all right? Otherwise, what? It doesn't mean that you're wrong or bad if you never do that. But what happens, and I've seen it over and over and over and over again, what happens is a frustration can come up in artists' hearts because they don't have 
the roadmap. They don't have the vehicle, if you will, to be able to get uh, their message and get their work out into the world, to have the influence, to be the light and life, the hands and feet of Jesus in the way that we were trying, that we were designed to. Now, if that's you, all right, I want to be, I just want to, let's just pause for a second. If that's you tonight, all right, if you would say, wow, this divine tension between being a creative, maybe I got that down, <laughs> but the the entrepreneurship part of it, that is a real, real struggle, all right? Let's just be honest right now. Just, just let me know um, where you are. Are you more on the, the creative side? or are you more on the entrepreneurial side? All right, because for me, it's kind of been interesting over the years. I'm kind of both, which has been an interesting thing in my life. I've kind of, you know, when I worked in churches, when I was a worship pastor and all that kind of stuff, I always kind of pushed the envelope a little too much because I was so entrepreneurial. <laughs> and yet, And yet, you know, from an artist's perspective, that has really served me because a lot of the, the entrepreneurial things that were always really natural to me have really, really, really served me in both. Now I see a lot of you guys saying that you're, some of you are saying both. A lot of people, I would say the vast majority saying more creative uh, for sure. There's Lynn. He's like me very much, much kind of both. Um, I'm looking if there are any more entrepreneurial folks out there. That's fine. It's just, um, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Manage and create. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, definitely not entrepreneurial. All right. But can it, can everybody see, all right, the, the way that we've built this, this thought process tonight, that there is this, there are these harmonious opposites that we have to hold in tension in a good way in our life in order to really grow, um, into the fullness of who God's called us to be. All right. That's a, that's a really, really, really uh, big, big, big issue that I want to try to dive into tonight. Now, unless you are willing to lean into, all right. And, and again, this is whether you're starting or growing. If you're, if you're not willing to lean in to the development at the same time, all right, because this this is like walking and chewing gum. <laughs> this is we're doing both of these at the same time. If you're not willing to walk on that journey at the same time, like that, growing in entrepreneurship, growing in uh, your artistic endeavors, and that sort of thing, all right, learning to develop an audience, and also learning to uh, and growing in your artistic expression, and that sort of thing. What happens is for most artists, and let's just let's just take the vast majority um, of a lot of people. If you're mostly on the creative side, then what you have more than likely, all right, is a hobby. You have a hobby that you kind of pursue when you want to. You may or may not have sales coming in. You end up giving most of your work away. Maybe that's a blessing. Maybe it's a frustration for you. Whatever. I'm not. I'm not here to judge that. I'm just saying, if you don't have the entrepreneurial side of it, you don't have a replicatable methodology, all right, to get your work out there. And what I see most of all in Christian artists is that exact struggle. People who feel called by God to make a difference, to create art that reveals his glory, that reveals their heart for people, that God would use their art in powerful ways, and yet they feel frustrated and shut down by their seeming inability to get out into the marketplace, all right? Now, I want to add one other thing on there, all right? <laughs> if you do, all right, if you, well, let's just, let's just say, let's just stop and ask this question. If that in itself has been a frustration for you, that is having this really, you know, divine calling purpose from God to be an artist and yet not feeling like you have a full grasp of what it takes to do what you need to be doing in the marketplace in order to really thrive. Would you be, would you be honest tonight and just say, yeah, that's me? Because I bet 
a lot of the, I bet a lot of you are struggling with that. You're not the only one. This, listen, that's the beautiful thing about these calls <laughs> and these, these Facebook lives is that you, you find out you are not the only one. You're not the only one. You're not alone. All right. Now, as you're doing that, um, here's another level to this. All right. The next level is, okay, if you are then, if you do accept the fact that, okay, there is this harmonious opposite of creativity and entrepreneurship that maybe God's calling me to. When you do embrace that, then there's this other dynamic that's what I call the juggling act. <laughs> because there is a, again, because you don't have the luxury of being an entrepreneur and an artist only, you're doing them both at the same time. There is this juggling act that you have to do that there is definitely grace for when you're walking under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, when you're being led down a pathway, there's, there's absolutely grace for it, but there is a juggling act. There are multiple things that have to be going on at the same time. All right. Now I want you to think, let's just think together as we're on tonight. All right. Just interactively. What are some of the things that you think an artist and an entrepreneur, all right, that is somebody that's pursuing both in their life in order to be the artist that God's calling to be and to get their work out there. What are some of the things that the juggling uh, items that you think an artist has to juggle? Let's just, let's just be, you know, write them down. There are no right or wrong answers. All right. So what might some of those be? I'll give you a few of them, maybe that I'm thinking of. Um, you got to be creating work. You got to be ordering materials. You've got to be exploring and playing uh, and experimenting. You've got to be honing your skills. You've got to have a studio practice and a space, you know, to, to be doing that. There's Krista. She says time creating, time balance, uh, money, time management. I see time management is a big thing for a lot of people. Uh, Susan says knowing where to go and where to sell. All right. Uh, being organized. I'm just looking at your comments here, paying the bills, um, time, sales, creativity, community. I love that. Consistency. All right. Developing a viable income. All right. All of those things, your, your health. Yeah. That's, that's a different thing. Prioritizing your time. All those things become a juggling act. All right. And so here's the deal <laughs> for most artists, again, because that may not be your natural tendency. When you go into that kind of with no plan, just thinking, well, I'm an artist and I got to get there to sell my work and I just got to do it. A couple of things happen. Either you get completely paralyzed <laughs> by the amount of things to do, all right, that you just shut down, all right? Now, if that's you, if that's you, say, just say, yeah, that's me. I get, I get paralyzed. All right. I just kind of get shut down and maybe that shutdown happens for a day or a week or a month, or maybe it's been years. All right. But the, just thinking about all that stuff and trying to figure it all out, Terry says computer problems, um, you know, just showing up, having a website. Uh, I'm just looking at all the, yeah. If that's you just say, yeah, that's me. I just get, I just get shut down. And what happens? I would say <laughs> the enemy is so happy at that point because the gift of God that's in your life has been totally shut down at that point, totally shut down at that point. All right. That is not God's. I mean, do we all realize we, we realize that is not God's best for our life. All right. Another thing happens too. an interesting dynamic, <laughs> not on the paralyzed side, but on kind of the other side, I call it striving side. There can be this thing where because there is so much information out there, I don't know if you get overwhelmed by just, just lots of information, lots of Facebook ads, lots of um, courses, lots of you should do this and 
artists that want to make money should do that. And this is the best show. And this is the best website to be on. And you got to sell it this way. And you got to be on Instagram. And if you don't use this hashtag, you got to do that. And you got to be on Pinterest. What about Pinterest? And, you know, what about TikTok? Am I supposed to be there? All of this stuff, <laughs> again, can overwhelm, but it also can start this kind of pinball machine. Bing, 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 bing of reactionary responses where instead of being able to have a clear plan and and strategy to walk with what happens is all of a sudden you're just bouncing from thing to thing to thing to thing this idea that idea this course that course this marketing strategy that marketing strategy and I saw somebody earlier, they said, yeah, I tried entrepreneurship and uh, and I lost a lot of money. Well, that's how that happens. All right. That's how that happens. I love this right here. Uh, who is it? Nancy Booth says too many choices, shiny bubbles. <laughs> I get it. I get it. That's exactly what happens. It's this pinball machine and you and that is as bad or worse than just being paralyzed. In fact, it can be worse because you end up wasting a lot more time and money and all that sort of thing when you don't have a plan. All right. That is really, you know, the two big things that I see happening to artists. And for me, as somebody that has been able to build a very successful art career over the last 25 years, as a creative person working in a lot of different genres, the last 10, 11 years working as a full-time visual artist, having a very successful studio, creating woven sculpture for luxury homes here in Asheville, North Carolina, and for clients all over the place. Um, I just got an order from Australia this weekend. Pretty cool, <laughs> all right? Uh, a commission order, which is really, really awesome. I see that these things that we're talking about, all right, this either overwhelm uh, and paralyzed or just overload on striving and reactionary kind of marketing. So those are the two big things that really artists that are trying to grow their art business or artists that are trying to, to start their business get absolutely struggle, you know, absolutely overwhelmed by. Now, when I started, uh, our mentoring program years ago, which has been very, very successful. We've got probably 1,300, close to 1,300 artists in that now from all over the world. One of the biggest things that people say when they come in that has helped them the most is having a plan, having a plan, knowing the things to focus on and the things not to focus on. <laughs> Matt, you've been doing this for a lot of years. You've made a lot of money. You have glorified the Lord in what you do. You're you have his heart. You want to equip people. You know, I, I see you doing it. I want to follow what you're doing. That's really one of the core things that we've done in the mentoring program. And yet God's called us and called me in particular to reach thousands and thousands and thousands of artists in order to raise you up into what God's called you to do. I know, listen, I know that many of you may not be ready for the mentoring program yet for a number of reasons, for a number of reasons. And so I started asking the Lord, I'm like, Lord, what can this look like? And the idea came to me, Matt, why don't you put together a blueprint for success? Like what are, what would be the top five, seven things that every artist needs to know? They need to be like, these are the things you got to focus on in order to really get started or grow your art business. Not all that other stuff, but like, what are the things that like really matter? All right. So I put that together. And then the Lord said to me, as I'm thinking about this and I'm just working, I'm like, Lord, is this it? It was like, no, there's more. I'm like, okay, there's more. So that was like a, I don't know, five or six page document that I put together with graphics and all this kind of thing. And then I started getting this idea for a starter kit. Wouldn't it be cool for artists that are not in the mentoring program yet if I just had like a starter kit 
All right. <laughs> that was everything you need. All right. Like, and this was, as I started writing this thing down, I took those seven things that you need to focus on and I broke them down like in detail. All right. Well, that turned into like this 26 page document. All right. Of graphics and journaling and me teaching a little bit. And then I thought, well, this will be overwhelming by itself. I better do a video with it. So I put a video with that to walk you walk through that whole thing. And I was like, well, is that, is, is there more? <laughs> and as I'm thinking about it, you know, because in that document, I was talking about things like marketing your website and how to find clients and clarifying God's plan for your life. And what's the vision for your life and how to build a, a personal brand that attracts people that turns like lookers into raving clients. How do you feel confident in developing a marketing plan that'll work for you? Like, right now where you are, if you've never done this before at all, you know, how do you know where to focus your time and attention and how do you even like get a 30 day plan of like what to do next? You know, as I started doing all that, I said, the only thing that's missing, two things that are missing. One thing that would be missing would be a ton of ideas that would be like, things you could do immediately, all right, in order to start selling your work, like my best ideas. And then the other thing was the ability to walk with you in a compressed time frame in order to teach all this that's in the, in the resources that I've developed, all right, and to be able to answer questions and interact and that sort of thing and do that like in a compressed, compressed time frame. So I, I took this to Tanya and I took it, you know, and I took it to her and I said, what could this look like? I took it to the team. I said, what could this look like? Because this, this is for people, honestly, that are that like maybe you want to do the mentoring program. Maybe you're on the waiting list for the mentoring program, um, you know, all of that. But you're like, I need help now and I don't need overwhelm. I need like a simple plan to be able to hold these two things in balance, create my creativity and entrepreneurship. And how can I take a baby step and start getting some wins <laughs> behind me? And how can I start getting some momentum behind me in order to start seeing uh, some success happen? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys tonight about because we have developed, we've never done this before. All right. Those of you that know me, our full attention has been in my mentoring program and in my courses for uh, the last four and a half years. That's been our focus. But we've got some some air in our schedule now that we've uh, we've we've done some things this year that have really made a big difference in our ability to serve you guys well. And so we have put together um, a one day workshop that's coming up. It's going to be August the fourteenth. All right. It's a Friday and it's going to be from 11 a.m. in the morning until 6 p.m. at night, Eastern Daylight Time. That way, just about anybody in the world can be a part of this workshop. All right. If you're in Hawaii, you might have to get up early. If you're in the UK, you might have to stay up a little later uh, than normal. But anybody can do this workshop. All right. We put this together and it's going to be called Jumpstart. All right. And I wanted to show you, Cherie is actually putting this, um, putting this, uh, the link for this on the, the pen uh, as a pinned post. But I want to show you this. When you go to this link that Cherie is going to show you tonight, um, you'll see that the whole focus of this thing is to get the roadmap you need to thrive as an artist. All right. There's two different ticket options. One is for the workshop. You're also going to get the success blueprint that I talked about, the starter kit that I talked about, plus the video, the sell your art and make money quick PDF that I talked about. All right. You can also get an all, what we're calling an all access ticket as well. You get all of that. Plus you get the recordings of that. So you can have those at any time for yourself to go back to. And you're going to get a live group Q and a with me after the workshop on Zoom so we can see each other and be able to walk through uh, that together. All right. Now, here's what we're saying during this workshop. And again, this is really 
this is really designed for people that are not in our mentoring program for people that are just starting out brand new or people that are wanting to grow their art business. All right. But after participating in the workshop, you're going to be able to have a simple pathway for your purpose. You will literally come out with a 30 day plan of simple things that you need to do one by one by one, not to be overwhelmed, but just to have a track to run on. All right. You're going to know exactly where to focus your time in order to start accelerating your growth. You're going to understand some habits that I teach that make success a whole lot easier in your life, specifically in regards to renewing your mind. You're going to be able to get clear on God's plan for your life in art so that you're not just running around willy nilly. We're going to dive deep into marketing strategies. All right. We're going to be talking about why people aren't buying your art. All right. We're going to buy, talk about how to transform prospects into raving clients? How do you start attracting clients and buyers, both online and offline? Um, how do you build a website? The key elements for your website, what should that include? All right. We're going to talk about running a business and the basic, ba I'm talking basic things that you need to do to get started. I'm literally giving you a checklist of things uh, that are that, that you do. All right. Um, we're putting in there a list of my favorite tech tools. How many of you get overwhelmed with technology? This is going to be, you're going to get a list immediately when you sign up, you'll get in uh, the starter kit, you'll get a list of my favorite tech tools, the things that I encourage every artist to use as they're getting started. Plus, like I said, a simple uh, to-do list for the next 30 days. All right. These are the those things I was talking to you about. You can see all this when you click the link. I'm not going to um, go through all of this uh, tonight, but I wanted, you'll also see down here at the bottom, there's a, a bunch of, uh, of frequently asked questions. You literally just click on that little button and you can read those. All right. Now, this, uh, we are opening the doors for this uh, tonight. All right. So right now, uh, the doors are open. Um, this is this is absolutely um, open to anybody. All right, open to anybody. Even if you're in the mentoring program and you wanted to do it, you're welcome to do it. We really designed it for people not in the mentoring program, uh, just to, again, kind of help you get started. If you're somebody that's trying to grow your art business, I think this is going to be so valuable for you because this is going to help you cut out all the things that may have been the time suckers in your life and journey and marketing strategies and all that kind of thing, and really be able to focus on the things that we know really are working now in this season for artists. All right. One of the beautiful things about having mentored thousands of artists over the years and in the mentoring program, I, I get to, to watch the things that are working like right now in the middle of COVID pandemic, I know the things that are working right now for artists to sell their art. I know the things that have made me be able to sell hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars of original art over the years, all right? I've watched people at every level and just about every creative medium. I know how to help you with that, all right? I can help guide you in, in what direction to be able to focus on. And that's what this is all about, this jumpstart day. It's not, I'm not asking you to sign up for a year. I'm not asking you for a monthly commitment. I'm not asking any of that. I'm just asking, hey, if you are somebody that wants to grow as an artist, you want to start or grow, you know that you need to hold these two things in tension, the creativity and the entrepreneurship, and you're just not sure where to start, or you just want some help, all right, some clarification and some, some momentum behind you to go to the next level, I want to encourage you to be at Jumpstart. All right. It's going to be a one day event. Uh, like I said, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's going to be awesome. All right. So please um, make sure that um, you click the link tonight, start signing up. Um, we're not sure what the capacity is going to be yet. I anticipate this is going to feel very quickly because we're able to, unlike regular live events, like we had almost 500 people at our live event here in March, the Thriving Christian Artists Conference that flew here from all over the world, all right? 
we believe this is going to be much larger <laughs> because there's going to be so many more people that want to do this. And it's like super ridiculous cheap. I mean, to, it's a very, very inexpensive. We're doing that. I'm doing that to be a blessing to you and to be able to give you some really, really, really great resources. Just the bonuses themselves are worth more than what I'm asking for the ticket. Plus you get to spend all day with me and my team and uh, it's going to be great. All right. Now with that, um, I'm going to put in uh, the link should be pinned at the top. I'm also going to put in um, the, uh, the link right here. So I'm putting it in, Cherie's putting it in. Um, so you'll see it coming all through there. Plus it's going to be pinned at the top of all the comments. So you'll see that as well. All right. Now with that, um, that's really, I wanted to, what I wanted to talk about tonight, this, this embracing of the, of the, of the tension, how to begin to do that. All right. So that you can really start thriving and give you an opportunity to, to join us for Jumpstart. I want to take some questions. All right. Uh, tonight. Thank you, Cindy Reed. She says your bonuses are priceless. Yeah. I mean, we're really, really, really trying to, to be, um, be just go overboard to bless you guys with this. Now, this is really important. D said, will it replay? I will be working. That's a great question. This will not uh, replay unless you get the all access ticket. All right. This is it, all access is 149. Um, that gets you the live workshop, all the bonuses, plus the recordings, which will come out within two weeks of the event, just to give us time to edit them and that sort of thing. And then also um, the private group live Q&A with me after the workshop for a much more intimate group of people. All right. On Zoom, that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so great, great, great. William said, will there be a discount for people already in the mentoring program? There won't because we're really not designed this for the mentoring program. Everything that we're talking about here in this jumpstart, this is like this much of what's already in the mentoring program. The mentoring program, you already have access, uh, William, because you just came in with your 90 day uh, getting started plan, the document that we just put out for you guys a couple of weeks ago, walking through the full mentoring program. You have so much more then this jumpstart, this is again, for people that are not in the mentoring program yet that just need the help to get started or to, or to start growing, to get some momentum behind them. All right. So um, great, great question. All right. Now let's see. Um, I'm looking for any questions tonight in regards to this whole concept of balancing your life, your creativity, your art, um, you know, the business side of things, anything that we've talked about tonight uh, in the teaching before we talked about this, um, we can absolutely uh, answer any of those tonight. So, all right. Jeremiah says, question, is pricing a drawing the same as pricing a painting? Well, most people for either one of those use a price per square inch. And um, that's that's what I would recommend that, that you use. So, Here's a, let's see, Jeff Bro. Do I need to change my medium or art style for God to use me? Or is that more of a question for the Holy Spirit? <laughs> Here's the deal, Jeff. Bro. This is so, so important, man. And I've taught on this for years. In fact, there's a, there's a great podcast episode. Maybe Cherie can find it for you and, and post it in here. Um, I really, really believe that when we invite the Holy Spirit into our creative process, into our studio, Whatever we're doing has the capacity to release his light and life. I don't care if you're an author. I don't care if you're a painter. I don't care if you're a builder. I don't care if you're a sculptor like me, if you're a musician, whatever it is. When we offer that creative expression and that process to the Lord, he comes and lives and moves and has his being inside our life and through our life in our art. And he can absolutely use you. Don't, ab don't ever, ever, ever. Uh, believe the lie that your art has to be like this or like that in order for you to be used by the Lord. Um, that's that's really a, a big, big misnomer. So good stuff. Suzanne says, how does this workshop work with different timelines? Are you talking about time zones, Suzanne? That's why we're doing it from 11 to 6. 
because just about anybody in the world can participate from 11 to 6. We know that some people are going to have to get up early. Some people are going to stay up late. Uh, but you can participate. All right. If you know that you can only participate for some, uh, I would encourage that you get the all access ticket. That way you'd be sure to get the recordings and that sort of thing. All right. Debbie says, will there be guidance to find their true calling as an artist? Absolutely. I mean, listen, everything we do, Debbie, and maybe this is um, your first time with us or whatever tonight, but everything we do is designed really with this idea that God has designed you specifically to be an artist. We want to help you to discover God's vision and plan for your life so that you can align with that and then begin to grow in maturity in that calling and gifting spiritually, artistically, and in business. That's the whole focus of what we do. We've been doing that for years with artists with, with uh, great success and love, love, love seeing God just light people up and, uh, and change their life. So that's what this is all about. Now, Cindy's got a question tonight and uh, she said, I've had a blog for three years. Would you suggest trying to sell from there or create a website? Well, Cindy, the, what you're describing is kind of the old way of doing things, which is a blog and a website. Actually, all modern websites these days have a blog built into them. And your blog is one of the key places you want to be, you want to use to drive traffic. That's one of the things we'll be talking about inside the workshop is how to use your blog in order to drive traffic to your website and get uh, interested people reading about your work, connecting with you, watching videos, that sort of thing, and hopefully beginning to order. All right. Great question. Nancy Booth says, will this also will this jumpstart also help authors? Absolutely. Because what we're going to be talking about are really large concepts in regards to marketing, your purpose as an artist, setting up your business, that sort of thing. So artists, musicians, anybody in the creative realm can absolutely um, benefit uh, from this. And again, that's the that's the, the beautiful thing along the way. We're going to teach it just like this, all right, inside a private Facebook group. Um, as I'm teaching, you'll have the opportunity to be asking questions, to be chatting with others along the journey. So there'll be great, great, great opportunity for you to be able to um, take the information and really, um, you know, tailor it into your specific um, genre. So great question. Um, let's see here. Jeff Willis says, what business structure is best for artists who offer, uh, who also offer services? Well, Jeff, that totally, I'm not an attorney. So one of the big things that I encourage people to do is start working with a small business attorney in your local area and an accountant to start figuring out what are the things that are, what's the structure that's going to be best for you. Many, many, many artists that I know use the LLC structure. Um, it's very simple to administrate and that sort of thing. But again, that's the decision for you and licensed professionals in your area uh, to make that call based on your specific, um, your specific decision. All right. Um, let's see. David Rollins Matt, when it comes to time management, do you have a process you use to work out how you divide your time between creativity and marketing? Focus on your existing work and creating uh, new work. I absolutely do. Uh, we call it, We I teach it in the mentoring program. We'll be talking about that um, during the, the jump start. I call it my three by three. It's a way that I divide the week and uh, help divide your focus in order to help you keep the main things the main thing. And so that's definitely something that we'll be um, we'll be talking about during that. Jody says, uh, I'm losing, I am losing the place where I fire my ceramics and other options are so expensive. I can't take commissions and I feel like firing my work is uh, always a struggle. How can I grow? Well, Jody, here's the thing that I, one of the things that I would say in regards to that question, mindset and your expectation of what's happening in your life right now is the major key <laughs> that is going to set you up for success or failure. Either your mind being renewed to the fullness of what God's doing in your life, or it being aligned with fear and anxiety and stress and all that sort of thing. 
the question that you're asking right here, not that it's a bad question, but the positioning that you're asking it from says to me, you're looking at this situation and you're interpreting it in a view of loss. That is, this is too expensive. I'm losing the place I fire my account. Uh, what if you thought about it this way? What if you thought about God's got a place that's so awesome for me that I don't know about yet, but I know that because his plans are to prosper me and not to harm me, to give me hope in the future. I know that when I ask, he said he would give me the desires of my heart, that when I begin to put my faith out there, that when I begin to, according to Mark eleven twenty four, therefore, when you pray, believe that you have received it and you'll have it. When you begin to cultivate your mind toward those things, all of a sudden, guess what? Those things that look like deletions from your life and negative situations actually become opportunities. When you look at opportunity, when you look at situations like this, like you're doing right now, and you start to see it as I'm losing my kiln. This is too expensive. I can't do it. I can't take commissions. You literally build a wall around your mind, which is how God communicates ideas to you. All right. But faith, and we're gonna, I'm going to teach about this in the Jumpstart Workshop, faith allows you to open up, to trust, and to see possibility, and to actively cultivate that mindset in your life so that you're able to receive what God's got for you in every area. I bet what God's doing right now is He's simply restructuring you. He's simply, he's simply moving you into a new situation that you don't fully understand yet but you've got the opportunity to begin to interpret that and pursue that in a way that's either faith-filled or fear-filled. And we'll be talking a lot about that during the workshop. So great question. Um, ba, 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 ba. Let's see here. I see some questions about specific things about localities and your city and that sort of thing. If you will go to your chamber of commerce, your small business association in your local area, they will tell you exactly what it takes to do business in your local area. All right. Don't let that, don't let that be um, a hang up for you. All right. Um, Erica says, how can I make art and painting, selling artwork a full-time job? Is it possible to sustain myself? I want to start a business, but is this the best move? Well, Erica, I'm so glad you asked. That's the whole purpose of this workshop that's coming up on August 14th. It's helping you. All right. Now, Erica and anybody, in as you when you sign up for the workshop, you're going to get some great documents. All right. In the meantime, what here's what I want to encourage you to do. Start listening to the podcast. I've got how many, Sheree? Almost 200 free episodes right now on the Thriving Christian Artist Podcast that cover so many business topics, so many getting started topics, um, like you're talking about, Erica. One of the things that, that I talk about on the podcast is what I call the bridge, moving from where you are now to where you want to be. That's the whole focus of this, of this Jumpstart workshop that's coming up that we're talking about tonight. But you can even get started thinking about that process by listening to a couple of, uh, of podcast episodes. All right. So I, I definitely encourage you uh, to do that. All right. Um, whoa, look at this. <laughs> now this is somebody, this is somebody that is growing right now by leaps and bounds. Lynette says, I'd like to sponsor somebody to join Jumpstart. How do I go about this? Just contact Tanya. Just contact Tanya. Uh, just uh, events at matttommymentoring.com or Lynette, you've got her personal information. Just, just contact or reach out. That's awesome. That's awesome. See, that's one of the things I teach in our mentoring program. So into what you want more of. So into what you want more of. If you're facing lack in your life or fear, so into. Come in in the opposite spirit. Watch the momentum of God happen in your life. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see here. Yeah, thanks, Joan. She said those podcasts have been a super start for me in the last month. I'm so glad. So glad. 
<laughs> Look at D. She says, I'm up to the 110th podcast. Great information and encouragement. I love that. I love that. Well, guys, listen, this has been so wonderful tonight. I think that we've got um, a lot of uh, the the big questions answered tonight. Um, I'm going to look at uh, this last question from, from Vicki. She says, I feel like the Lord is uh, leading me to use my art to help the homeless in Springfield, Missouri, so they can have a place to make art and resell for themselves. Any ideas how to do this? Yeah, absolutely. And he here's the deal. Here's the deal, I would say, Vicki. When you are a person that has a thriving business, all right, business, you then have the opportunity to make profit, which allows you to make impact. The more that you make financially, the more that you uh, have control of your schedule, the more that you get to choose where you're spending your time, energy, and resources because you built a thriving business, the more opportunity you have to do that. Now, I'll give you an example right now, Vicki. Over the, the last years of my own art business, we've been very successful. The Lord's blessed us financially. Um, we love, we have a separate bank account now that, that's called our giving account. We put money in there every month, all right? It's filled to overflowing. I love it, all right? And we give money to different things that we feel excited about, that we feel like the Lord leads us to. One of the things that we do is give to our local homeless shelter. I'm actually on the board. It's called the Western Carolina Rescue Mission. We are actually talking about with them developing an art program for the Western Carolina Rescue Mission. Well, guess what? Because God's blessed me financially, because I've got a business where I'm not just trading time for money, but I'm learning to build, build wealth, build a, a solid financial footing for my family and for my business, guess what? I've got the time, energy, and resource to be able to give my time to an organization that I really feel uh, strongly about. That, I believe, is such a strong methodology of giving as opposed to, I got a dream. I wonder if I can get a whole bunch of people to give me money to do it. All right, see the difference? One says, I'm going to take responsibility for this thing with the Lord. I'm going to be faithful with little, so God will make me ruler over much. And then as he blesses me, I'm going to become a blessing to others. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Ann Brown says, where do you find the podcast? And Cherie put it in the post. If you just go to matttommymentoring.com forward slash podcast, uh, you'll see it there. Also, just about any podcast app that you're that you're looking at, um, you know, Stitcher, Spotify, uh, Podbean, Apple, of course, 85% of people listen on Apple, um, any of those kind of places, my website, all right, all of that's got, um, got that, all right. So guys, listen, I just want to um, say thanks for being on tonight. I love, love, love being with you guys on Sunday nights. It's just so much fun. Um, Again, make sure that you sign up. This is going to be open until August the 13th. All right. So until August the 13th, you're going to have the opportunity um, to sign up and to be a part of Jumpstart. Share it. Encourage your friends to be a part of it. Listen, it is super cheap. <laughs> it's super inexpensive. We are going to so over deliver and blow your mind. It's going to be so awesome. There's even things we're going to be doing we're not even telling you about yet. They're going to be awesome for those who participate. Um, when you register tonight or whenever you're watching this video, you get immediate access to the bonus plus bonuses, plus you get uh, a link to join the private participant only Facebook group. You can jump in right now. All right. And start connecting with other artists from around the world in anticipation of the workshop on August the 14th. All right. Thanks guys. Joan said she signed up. I love it. I love it. I see others saying they're signed up. Let's do this thing. And um, if you got any questions, of course, you can always email us, Matt at matttommymentoring.com and we'll get that answered for you real quick. All right. Hey, let me pray for you. All right. And um, oh my gosh, Lord, honey, Robin says, can you, can you start even if you don't have a portfolio? Girl, that's what this is for. This is like for, I'm talking about 
What if I've never done it? What if I haven't drawn in 10 years? What if I just think God wants me to be an artist? And I'm not even sure. This is the perfect, perfect, perfect uh, event for that. All right. It's one day, one day, 11 to 6. All right. You get tons of resources. Absolutely, absolutely do it. All right. Let me pray for you guys. and We're going to get rolling. All right. I'm going to go eat some watermelon. We got a new watermelon tonight. Ooh, I love watermelon. So Evangeline, Lord bless her heart. She says, where do we find info on signing up? In the link, in the comments, in the comments. And also um, you'll see them uh, pinned at the top of all the comments tonight. You'll see it there. But Cherie can share that with you uh, specifically if you need it. All right. I'm going to pray. Father, thank you for tonight. Lord, thank you that there are these things in the kingdom, Lord, this, these beautiful, harmonious opposites, God, grace and truth, being filled and skilled. And Lord, for us, being both entrepreneurs and being creatives, God, we can do both. And your spirit can lead us into both so that we can be the people that you called us to be, so that we can have the impact in the world that you want us to have. And Lord, I thank you for that, that this Jumpstart Workshop is the pathway for our purpose. That it's a simple roadmap that will tell us everything we need to do to get started. And Lord, I thank you for I thank you for the idea, putting it on my heart. <laughs> I thank you for those that are going to join with us from all over the world. God, I thank you for the anointing that's going to be on that day workshop and even the weeks, uh, the, the few weeks we've got before, just in the Facebook group for the participants. Lord, I thank you that there's going to be grace on that as well. And so, Lord, I thank you for that. Lord, thank you for this time. Bless, Lord, every person with, with your grace, favor, wisdom, understanding, knowledge, skill, opportunities, wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you and in the knowledge of who you have made them to be. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you guys. I hope you have an awesome, awesome evening and uh, or day wherever you're at, all you guys in Australia, New Zealand. And um, I love, uh, I can't wait to see a lot of you on this on this jumpstart. We're going to have, there are going to be hundreds and hundreds, if not over a thousand people on it. I know it. So I hope you're one of it. All right. Hey, if you missed this tonight, I see Kathleen. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm bombed. I'm bombed. You can watch it in a minute. It'll be, the replay will be here in just a minute. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.